All right, all right. Happy Monday, everybody. Big waves to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. So I sent a message out yesterday on, on Facebook about all of our friends and family in Canada, and it was Canada Day, and, and we hope you had an amazing day. And Marlene says they're just celebrating right on through the 4th of July. So, uh, and obviously we have the 4th of July tomorrow. And tomorrow, there's been a, I've had a lot of texts, uh, several texts about people having family in and maybe doing breakfast tomorrow. So there will be no coaches corner tomorrow. Uh, but we do want to acknowledge the 4th of July. We want to acknowledge what it stands for. Arlene, hold your cup up. She's got her cup. Freedom. Freedom. You know, I even think Canada, Canada Day, freedom. It's like, it's for a reason. And I know all of you know that, but we just want to acknowledge all of our men and women, you that have been in our military and, and are in our military and just put yourself out there and, and protect us. We salute you and we know what this day really means. So, and we have some very proud veterans inside of this group that we love you dearly and thank you for your service. Um, so, so we'll be honoring you tomorrow. The, um, this week's words, and Andrea Grady, I hope you heard your happy birthday message. We are really getting good at singing on this. Um, so the words for this week uh, start with Q. Start with Q. And Andrea calls me up and she's like, I want to do quit on Monday. And she laughed like, and she said, I just think it's so funny. So I'm not so sure why she thought quit was so funny for Monday, but that's the word we're doing today. And <laughs> Andrea, do you want to, do you want to tell us? I just thought it was kind of like the opposite of what you'd expect. Like on a Monday with the word, like you think run or excel or desert, you yeah. know, like something to start us off with this like uplifting. And I said, no, let's go to quit. Yeah. Well, so I looked at it and I tossed it around a little bit. And sometimes a word will be really easy for me. And sometimes it's like, twisting and turning in my head. I don't know if you feel the same way when you think about the word, but if you look at the definition of quit, it's like leave a place, usually permanently, to give up, to resign, to relinquish. Synonyms for quit is like depart, drop, drop out, give up. Some of my teachers might have thought I, I was going to drop out once or twice, but so I immediately thought of a good friend of mine. His name might be Tracy. And Tracy uses a term that he really was taught by his mentor, never learn how to quit. How many of you have heard Tracy say that before? Never learn how to quit. And recently, he might kill me for saying this, so if he's not on, don't tell him. But recently, Tracy just completed, yesterday actually, the 75-day hard challenge. Yeah, yeah. And it's tough. Like, like when I say tough, it's it's you. You got to be consistent. Like one little thing can throw you off and you have to start all the way back over to day one. But he didn't. He stayed the course. He stayed consistent to it. Finished it up yesterday, 75 straight days of constant activity around different merits. And there were probably inconvenient days for him. There were probably days that he said, you know what? No one would know if I just quit on this for the day. I can pick back up tomorrow. 
I'm sure he has thoughts in his head just like we all do. But just like his mentor taught him, never learn how to quit. Never learn how to bargain with yourself, right? I do that all the time, just so you know. I'm like, they'll not know if I put real sugar in my grills today. And and they'll not know. I, you know what? If I get that if I get that gallon of ice cream, instead of putting it in the bowl, I'll just take a couple of scoops out of the actual carton. Nobody will ever know. And it's it's compromising, right? We if we're not careful, we start to compromise with ourselves. Um, and it takes us down a road of retreat, of walking away, of quitting. And to honor Tracy, I pulled a Vince Lombardi quote out from the Green Bay Packers. Now, can anybody picture Tracy at the stadium with the cheese, the cheese head, the cheese on his head? Uh, if you're a football fan, you know what I'm talking about. So I can picture him doing that. So Vince Lombardi said a long time ago, he said, once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. Once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. And years ago, I, I hashtag, some people like it, some people don't, but I hashtag something. We had t-shirts made, like it was hashtag, I don't quit. You remember that, Anthony? I don't quit. Because I believe you got to be mentally tough, just like Tracy said, never learn how to quit. Walking around with an I don't quit attitude, like I don't quit. Now, there's sometimes I have to change directions. Like there's sometimes that 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 I can't just be so stubborn that I go, no, I, I, I'm going to do this even if it harms me. Sometimes I have to walk away from something. But if I know deep in my heart it's worth fighting for, if I know it can get me to where I want to go, then I have to have a I don't quit attitude. And... I want to give you some signs, and I'm going to turn this to Andrea. I want to give you some signs this morning, signs that you or me or someone's about to quit. Your work production decreases. It starts to decrease. You start to do less of the main thing. Could be in your health. Could be in your job. It could be whatever relationship. Your work production starts to decrease. First sign of quitting. Another one. You act less like a team player than you used to. You, you become jealous. We become jealous. We start to cut off the person that we used to listen to because now they're getting on our nerves. We don't congratulate like we used to congratulate. That's a sign of getting ready to quit. Another one. They've exhibited a change of attitude for the worse. I relate to all of these, just so you know. I've been there. They've expressed dissatisf dissatisf uh, dissatisfaction with their, I can't talk. They expressed dissatisfaction with their profession or their job. I've been guilty of this. I've complained about my job. I've complained about my profession. I've complained about people in my profession. All signs that I'm trying to retreat. I'm trying, I'm trying to back up. I need to put my shirt on. I don't quit. And then the last one is they have lost enthusiasm for the mission of the organization. And I share all these with you because I believe if we know what the signs look like when we start seeing them in our own self, it snaps us and goes, whoa, you better watch where you're going because where you're going is somewhere dangerous. Where you're going is somewhere to possibly at a place of the big word quit, which we don't want to do. So Andrew, I'll turn it to you. Well, that was a phenomenal. 
phenomenal lesson. So thank you so much for that, Coach. And I, of course, am difficult, and I wanted to go in the opposite direction. So I talked about what I looked into was, you know, we always hear people say, kind of like Coach said, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. But are, is there anything in our life that we should quit? I like to come at things backwards. I don't know why. So what I looked into is what things we should quit in order to be happier humans, in order to be more successful humans, in order to be the people that we want to be. So first of all, the first thing that we I found that we need to quit is comparing ourselves to others. And I'll go really fast because we do have to make time. I know we don't normally sing for birthdays on the weekend, but I think we have to today. So we got to make time. Um, but comparing ourselves to others. Um, when we do that, all we do is steal joy out of today, out of our life, out of everything. So stop comparing yourself to other people. Number two is holding grudges. Oh, goodness gracious. I got mad at my brother when I was like 11 and I truly was mad at him. I could probably actually get back a little bit mad at him. I'm still a little upset, but man, is that not a grudge? I'm 47 years old. He was young and made bad decisions at that moment. Like we can let it go, right? But sometimes we can get caught up into holding those grudges and it only harms us. Coach talked about it the other day. Oh, and I'm going to misquote you and I'm going to misquote the original quote, but pretty much when we're mad at somebody else and we're holding a grudge, we're just poisoning ourselves. It's like feeding somebody else poison and or feeding ourselves poison and hoping it harms somebody else something like that you know the point um but number three is seeking approval from other people and if we walk around living our life hoping that somebody else is you know thinking that we're doing the right thing and that doesn't mean we want to do the wrong thing but if all the decisions I make are because I think that Arlene's going to be impressed by it or John's going to think that's a good idea or Anthony or Chris well, then I'm not making decisions based on what's important to me and what's important in my life. So stop seeking approval from other people. Overthinking, I'm going to have to dig into this one a little bit more, but quit overthinking. We're just slowing ourselves down and probably just getting in our own way. Number five, quit neglecting yourself. So do the self-care that everybody talks about. Take care of your body, exercise, move, you know, take care of your mind, do what's going to make you feel good mentally and emotionally. And then number six is putting other people's needs before your own. And I know that we hear about putting that oxygen mask on ourselves first, but I think for many of us, that can be a challenge. And then lastly, dwelling on our past mistakes. We've all made them. I know y'all are incredible people, but I am confident that we've all screwed up in some way at some time. And we can let that be weight on our shoulders or we can make amends if we need to and we can let go and move on. So that's what I have this morning. Um, and those are the things that we should quit doing. No, that was that was great. That was great, great, great. I love the word. Love the word to start the Monday. And uh again tracy congratulations we love you brother and uh that was a big big task he just 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 finished up yesterday on the 75 day hard challenge and beth johnson i got two things to say one we want to sing birthday to you i know yesterday was your birthday and so we want to give you a happy birthday because i see you on your beautiful smiling face and is it uh we, we just want to ask for you to, uh, um, we have a person here on the coach's corner that's just requested prayers, okay? Um, going through a really tough time and lost a loved one. And um, we want you to know that we are absolutely praying for you uh, and and the good Lord always knows those prayers. Okay, so I want you to know that. So if if we can, we throw prayers up, and we um, it's just cool to be a part of a community that cares, a community that 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 that's always looking out for each other. Um, so. We're going to finish it up on a on a on a happy birthday note. Beth Johnson, she's always on and she's always singing and and smiling at people on here. So 
We're going to mute, unmute the lines and 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 go at it this morning. Clear your voice. <laughs> Happy, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Beth. 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 Happy bir